Coach Miller, hey. you are you are not a stranger to this room. Nope. Um, you're not a stranger to success either. Um, but one of the things I, I I feel bad because I haven't gotten to get around you in person as much. One of the biggest things that I hear about you is just what an inspiration you are, the energy you bring, the perspective you bring. Um, you've done it at the highest level. Yeah, I mean, from, from college, all pretty much every aspect, from high school to college, D1, D3. Um, talk a little bit about what continue, continues to draw you to this program. Obviously, you won a national title here, but like... What about what's going on right now at you and I just, just feels right? Yeah, it does feel right, you know, and, and you know, you get caught up in the energy, you know, you go to the, typically you go to the West Gym for a meet and it's just, you can just feel the energy, so it's just fun, you know, it's just fun. And then, you know, I try to get up here once a week or something, because you know, you know, I enjoy watching guys scrap and, and uh, some of the guys come down to the museum and so forth, but you just kind of get caught up with the kids you know because they got a great group of kids here and they got some good leadership with Doug and the other guys and and uh, so and this is my uh, alma mater so there's a lot of reasons man and plus I live just a half mile away so so you're heavily involved with it with the Gable Museum now and yeah. it just seems like that thing just continues to grow and grow physically brand wise just all the initiatives you guys are doing um, how excited has that been of a project for you not kind of taking a, a different approach to being involved in wrestling. Yeah, it's been a blessing for me, man. It's been a blessing. You know, I'm 66 right now and feel like a kid every time I get up and, you know, to get to go to work, you know. And, uh, you know, the, the difference is, you know, when you're coaching a team, you know, you got like blinders on. You got one team. You got that. And now it's the blinders kind of went way out here because we're talking about youth. We're talking about high school. We're talking about college. We're talking about international. We're talking about boys and girls, you know. So uh, we're just trying to uplift uh, the whole sport in, in any way we can, you know. And then, you, you know, some, a couple times a month you might have Gable come in and go somewhere. And uh, so, man, it's been, it's been very cool for me. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a native of Waterloo, so I'm going back home. I got a big a base there, the people I know. Obviously in wrestling there's a big base of people I know. So it's been a natural fit, man. It's just really... I couldn't have drawn it up any better to, you know, get excited about a new a new position. I didn't ever expect it, but man, it's been very cool. Talk, so longevity. You, like I said, you've done it at the highest level for an extremely long amount of time, and it doesn't seem like you you got burned out or your <laughs> energy faded or anything like that. Obviously, your shell that you live in, you know, it aged a little bit. If, you, if, if you're talking to up-and-coming coaches or coaches that have been doing it for a while and are starting to feel that kind of the, the grind catching up with them or the, that position catching up with them, what, what's been a secret for you and kept you kind of well, operating at that Well, I call level? it motivation by choice, man. I just chose to be motivated. I know I needed to. Hey, man, if you're the leader, you better be motivated. You expect your staff, your athletes, your athletic trainer, everybody. I mean, you come in and sit down and it, it's contagious either way. So I chose to be motivated, you know. There were 17 steps from my locker to the wrestling room door, and I just decided, hey, by the time I get to that door, I'm ready to go, no matter what I felt like. And that, you know, that's kind of the key. No matter what you feel like, you're bringing it anyway. And so that was kind of the thing, and it just, I got in a success habit. I call that a success habit. It's just a success habit, that's what I did. And I could, you know, get to that point immediately when, when I'm ready to do it. So, and that really helped us. You know, I had athletes and so forth, you know, they, they got in the habit too. The habit was, hey, we're getting something done today, you know, and don't bring in any baggage to practice. You know, leave it in your car, leave it in your uh, apartment, whatever, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And let's have a great practice. And you know, when you do that, you're much better fitted to go solve whatever issue you might have, whether you're an athlete, coach, whatever. And so, you know, it, it, that, that we got in that habit and, and when you do that success every day committed every day good things happen talk about success habits um, where, where do you feel this team is at right now I mean I'm I'm biased you're biased obviously we're big Panther train fans but like where do you truly feel like this team is at right now the UNI team yes sir yeah I don't know I mean I mean I think it's a obviously they got a lot of talent here they got a number of guys that are ranked high, so other people must think they're good too. <laughs> but uh, I just like I just like the energy. You know, I, I like the energy of the team. I like the the camaraderie of the team. You know, you don't have to be around a long, uh, very off, very long to see that these guys like each other and they're and they're willing to work at it. Uh, I don't see the coaches really having to prod them very hard to get going. You know, they're ready to go. So 
uh, when, when that happens, man, you, you know, kind of the sky's the limit as far as what they're capable of doing. You know, and all you, all you want to do, man, is, is have people wrestle to their full potential. That's it. And what happens if you have every guy wrestle to your full potential? Then what happens? Well, really good things start to happen, you know, because most teams that doesn't happen. You know, you, get, you might have five or six of them wrestle really good, a couple average, and a couple not very good, you know. And so wrestling everybody at the same time, I don't care what sport it is, you know. I mean, if you had five guys in basketball and they all had their best game at the same time, what's that look like, you know? Yeah. And so that's what I'm talking about. So uh, I like these guys. I really, they're just a lot of really good people, you know. And so obviously you cheer for people that you're really good people and that you see them work hard. So you're, you're, uh, you're hoping good things happen for them. All right, Coach. I appreciate your time. Appreciate letting me catch up with you. We'll see you around. All right, bro.